At the end of the day, Eric Jones has come to the conclusion that the flag waved because David Scott brushed it. But it seems that Jones can see problems with this theory. The estimated PLSS locations make it possible that Dave's elbow could have touched the flag, but just barely if at all. It is quite easy to prove that no physical contact caused this flag movement. The propagandists have gone out of their way to make my life more miserable than any other government agency would ever hope to. As demonstrated previously, they take pleasure in watching my YouTube account getting wrongly suspended for copyright infringement and will use my occasional honest mistakes as evidence for stupidity or even dishonesty on my part. Case in point, the Apollo 15 Galileo experiment. Long story short, years ago, while in debate, I accidentally confused kilograms with grams and said that a hammer weighs 500 kilograms. The individual I was debating with took the time to make my honest mistake the subject of ridicule at the bad astronomy forums, and for years I was harassed and ridiculed with cheap shots about 500 kilogram hammers. In October 2007, the same propagandist produced a video called The Flag That Moved. In the video, he implies that the initial movement of the flag began before David Scott even ran past it. Watch. The one thing he fails to explain in his video is how the flag moved. And in the forums, he has demonstrated that he doesn't know. Of course, if the initial movement began before Scott came near the flag, how could it have moved by physical contact with the astronaut? That alone is a good indication that the physical contact theory is, unequivocally, BUSTED. We know beyond a shadow of a doubt that this flag did not wave from David Scott bumping it, and every other explanation has failed under scrutiny. With all six of these theories debunked, what other explanation can we go with?
cry. 